Hey guys, I'm going to show you my new microphone. I got this in the shock mount for $40 total. And the shock mount most generally is about 30 bucks. The microphone's anywhere from 75 to 95 and the list price is 160 bucks if I remember right. So I got a pretty dang good deal on it. But I ended up having to order a boom mount and also I had to order the the pop filter for it. So That'll be here toward the first of the year. But here's what I got working. And you guys go ahead and laugh at me if you want. That's cool. Got me a long bolt there that just fit in there. It's not the right thread pitch. So I might have to uh, clean the threads. Maybe chase it. And <clears throat> get that aluminum job there straightened up when the mount gets here. But we'll see. Hopefully I don't have to mess with that. But if I do, it's not a problem. Alright, so there's that. What we're going to do today is go back. Yes, we are going to go way back. Okay, I want to thank and give another shout out to the person that made this possible. Okay, this person is a woman. She is an engineer and she is just a lovely person all the way around. Okay, she helped me. She sent me emails. We emailed each other back and forth throughout the process. She did a step by step in a video for me and or not I said for me how dumb she didn't do this for me she did this and then I went to my kids toy box and I realized that I had the exact same case so and that case was a toy of my daughter's that was broken so that's how that happened that's how that came about I got in contact with her I had a couple questions she helped me with anything I needed help with steel Jan thank you thank you no you didn't do it because of me you didn't do it for me but you you helped me thank you <laughs> this is a toy this is, was an Elmo toy it had an Elmo figure about the size of the VV Nova sitting on the top had four things on there with lights on it you push this button right here and the thing spun around and the lights did all this crazy looking stuff pretty cool I think they bought it at a at a uh, circus or something like that this was my very first variable voltage PV after I got this PV and I used it for a while I really liked it so I went ahead and took the shot and I took the chance and bought a Proveri and after that I decided to give this off to my dad so this was my dad's first variable voltage PV this was probably right about 18 months ago okay so this thing's been working flawlessly ever since it does need a new 510 connector and ever fitting to the old school Elmo steel jan variable voltage mod I have a VV Nova tank on top of it. I have an Aspire tank, but a VV Nova setup. Okay, so pretty cool. And what this switch does is you flip this switch and it tells you how much voltage you're running. Okay, and that's because there's a screw head inside here and it's connected to a board. And that board was bought on eBay and that board it, it comes from China. And that's what you put in there to be able to adjust the voltage. Okay. So real quickly, we'll recap on what the components of this are. Mad Vapes display. Um, Mad Vapes for dual 14500 batteries. Okay, and Mad Vapes for the 510 connection. Lows for the rubber, which used to be a juice well, which now is turned downwards instead of cupping upwards. Okay, and then the switch radio shack. That's it. You have the battery connector already in here. Two AA batteries, same thing as 14500 batteries. Okay. You've got your switch and you had your hole already here too for the thing, the toy part that went on top of it. So pretty cool. Let's check out how this thing's vaping just to prove that she's still going. Yeah, and that's pretty damn cool. It's a cool vape, the VV Nova, but I don't mind it. It's it's one of those things every now and again. If you like variety, you know, the VV Nova is still pretty cool. So what I'm going to do, just in case you want to get into this, maybe you want to just buy the parts because you know you're always going to be able to find something that has a battery holder in it, okay? Something you can use to put dual 14500s. 
SHTF situation. Maybe they come down on electronic cigarettes to where you cannot actually buy a variable voltage PV. Maybe you have to go back to the stupid little mini things. Okay. That has been offered up, you know, so that, that could happen. Okay, maybe you download Steel Jan's video where she shows you how to build this yourself. Maybe you might have to hide under the covers and vape at night. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But this is a skill, I believe, if you really want to stay off the cigarettes, unless you can just quit vaping cold turkey and not go back to cigarettes, this might be a skill you need to learn, okay? That's another reason why I'm going back over this is because there are a lot of people getting into vaping, and vaping does help, okay? Vaping helps a lot, and I want to be able to help people, and I want vaping to be able to help people. So, you you might want to just go ahead and do that, okay? So, I'm going to link her video in the description so you guys can take a look at it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try my best to help you out, and... As far as where to buy the things, she goes over all that in the video, okay? So, you know, the, the everything at Mad Vapes is going to be easy for you to find. The Native 510 connection, if you want to buy a VV Nova tank, you can probably get it there. You know, the batteries you can get there. The display, I think I might have said that. Yeah, no, I didn't. The display you can get there. The Radio Shack switch. I think I got like a four pack for a couple of dollars. Okay, and you don't even really have to have a juice well, but it would be nice just so it doesn't leak into the actual battery holder. Okay, so that's the reason why I got that there, and I don't really care that it's turned the wrong way now. But again, thanks to Steel Jan, and like I said, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate, leave them in the comments below. I always get back to everybody. If I don't, something funny happened. Okay, there's been a couple times I haven't been able to do it. So that's going to do it. Thanks for watching.